Welcome, Riders, to the number one weekly show about all things Riders Republic. This week, we'll share our thoughts following our four hours of play during trial week. Is it worthy of Game of the Year? We'll get to that in the main topic. You're watching episode one of the Riders Report. Today's episode is brought to you by our YouTube members. Thank you, as always, to executive producers Bone Crusher 2 d and Coach34, along with co-producers It's the Mort and Mitch's Mom, and our fans and fans plus. If you'd like to become a member and help support the channel, hit join down below for cool perks like early access to the shows, emojis and badges, exclusive Discord roles, members-only content, sneak peeks, and more. We are almost there in the game we have all been waiting for. Ubisoft's newest title, Riders Republic, launches tomorrow, October 28th. So now is the last chance for you to pre-order the game and grab that sweet, sweet bunny outfit. If you had your hands on the trial week, the Mad Challenge is officially over, and we hope to hear news soon of the winner of that Riders Republic Canyon bike. That thing was beautiful, and there's going to be some winners of gold copies of the game, so maybe some of you got lucky enough to win a free edition this weekend we also had tfg canyon fodder and a huge congrats goes out to p-dub for taking home the gold if you're not familiar we do x game style competitions this was our last steep event and we'll have news very soon on our tardiflect games riders republic events including the beta best trick live stream hi my name is mitch and i'm addicted to mass races Holy shizwizzle, wait a minute, you too? <laughs> Boy, we are just, we're hitting this game hard right out of the gate. What's up, Mitch? Welcome to episode one of Riders Report, hopefully our longest standing podcast to date. I think so. We're so excited. We, this is like 90 weeks in the making now, and we finally get that Riders Republic show that we've wanted. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, the game, the full game releases tomorrow, October 28th of the year 2021, just uh, to mark that in the history books there. Um, but we did we have had access to the game twice already, uh, once in the beta week, which was a select few group of people. And then they eventually opened it up to everyone in the last few days. Uh, but most recently, trial week, which they give us full access to the completed game or supposedly the completed game, what we will receive on release date. Uh, they gave that to us for a couple of days, the week leading up to release. So love to get your impressions, love to see uh, what you liked, what you didn't like about the new update. But this looks like the full game. We finally got uh, a chance to put our hands on it. Yeah, I, I don't think it's too early to say this might be my game of the year contender. And <laughs> there's a very small field of games that I've played this year that aren't Rocket League and Fortnite that are old games. But I mean, I'm just loving it so far. I don't know. They've definitely made some changes since the beta. They have said they tweaked the controls of the bike, uh, sprinting like you have more control. They've changed the wingsuit control to make it a little bit more reactive. A bunch of different controls, ski and snowboard, still a little bit more reactive. Cameras are more polished. Mass races, you're not bumping into people as much. It's still happening, but you're not bumping into people as much. And I think the game just feels that much tighter. And I'm, I'm very glad that they took that break, um, kind of delaying the game, putting out a beta, waiting another month to where it is now. I think it's ready. Yeah. And, you know, we're going to get into some of those changes. That's what this week's main topic is primarily going to be about the changes that we've noticed from beta to final trials week uh, to the final full game release. But game of the year, huh? Mm -hmm. So it, it is this one of those things where, like you said, you know, the Tonys last year, musicals on Broadway and all of that, uh, I think only one or two shows premiered during the pandemic because Broadway was closed. Uh, but they won all of the awards from last year. So you, you're kind of putting all your eggs in that basket. This is going to be the best game of like two or three games that come out this year. I think I, this is probably going to be my personal game of the year. Got you. I, it could still, I don't know, it could have an outside shot just because it is so different. I'm, I'm interested to see the reviews that will come out. I think Thursday when it launches or mm -hmm. maybe they'll have them up before maybe today. But I'm interested to see how it does perform. I, the reactions have been pretty big um, 
by a lot of the people playing the beta, a lot of the big gamers, a lot of the websites. You got Red Bull posting stuff. Um, it's playing even better now. They had a trial week so they can get a ton of hands on it. It's in a genre that not many games are made and games are not made at the AAA level in this space. Yeah. And, you know, I think it really just hits on kind of everything that gaming is now. So moving into that more multiplayer, more lighthearted, wacky, but I'm really having fun with it. Yeah, uh, me too. And, you know, I had a couple of friends that I encouraged to download Trial Week, and they all pretty much said the same thing. You know, I sent them that live action trailer that Ubisoft put together in conjunction with Red Bull Sports. And, it, you know, they were sold on it. Once they saw that YouTube video, they could kind of understand the energy and the vibe that this game was putting off. They jumped in for Trials Week, and that was the reaction I was getting from a lot of friends. Just, this is not my style of game, but man, I could play this for hours. You know, mm -hmm. and I find I found myself playing all four hours. I've never enjoyed an open world game like this before. Uh, we've talked about it at length in Apre Steep, the podcast before this one. Uh, but the arcadey feel they are applying to a much larger demographic here, a much younger demographic than what I think Steep was aimed towards. Um, and you can see it and feel it, and but it doesn't feel like a childish game. You know, it still has a very uh, put together, very cohesive adult feel to it, just with a little cartoony punch. Uh, those mass races. <laughs> you were mentioning that the collisions were updated from the beta version of mass races we saw. I was having one heck of a time with mass races, and I know you were on the complete other spectrum. We were, I was watching a random Twitch streamer. One of I was watching it at some point. Somebody else from the community was watching it at a different point, but you were getting messages. Someone streamed one of your mass race victories. Yeah, um, <laughs> Bone Crusher was actually watching a streamer and said hey you just won the mass race that i'm watching so we were put in the same lobby and i had no idea he's like hey i just saw you won i'm like well i'm about to close this thing out because i finished first in the first heat second in the second heat and then i finished first in the third heat again so i've done three total mass races so far and i finished first second and first so maybe if i was further back in the pack where you're hanging out i might feel those collisions yeah. a little bit more oh yeah thanks thanks <laughs> yeah uh, no, but that's a real thing. So the last mass race that I was able to play before my trial expired, I ended up placing third overall in the entire race. I think I placed uh, third, second and second, and I tied for second place. But I whatever I got third place on the podium leading up to that. I think I hit like four or five other mass races. I couldn't crack the top 15 anywhere and yeah once you're in the back of the pack you're in the middle of the pack those collisions are a real challenge think fall guys uh whenever you get to a bottleneck area where only two or three people can fit but you have 15 trying to get through there uh chaos ensues and people bump you off of the course it was very unforgiving um i love and hate that aspect <laughs> and it's definitely going to be something that i can see uh the general public you know um getting angry about, you know, and complaining about that it's too hard to get anywhere in the middle of that pack. But the last race that I had, I was able to enjoy the top five and uh, get a little bit of separation between riders. And that was a blast. <laughs> so I guess it's only good for the top 10. <laughs> I think, yeah, they changed it so that you can't collide. Like at the start of the race, collisions don't start for a little bit longer now. Like it takes I don't have an exact time, but they don't start for a while and then they are a little bit less, but it is, I did lose one of the mass races. Like the one I finished second overall was the second race I got in a collision, just knocked me wide of a checkpoint. And then I finished like 25th out of 32 in that race mm -hmm. because of a collision that I had, the guy jumped over top of me and landed on me. So I had no control, couldn't even see it coming. Yeah. And that's frustrating. But I'm wondering if it's going to get a bit better once everyone has gear and mm -hmm. the gear scores are different, the speeds, the turning, the handling. It's not going to be everyone rocking that orange Sam Berger outfit, the stock downhill racing skis. So everyone's just sticking in a cluster. I think a lot of those people that really do kind of launch out at the start and then can kind of hold that position. Um, I don't know if you saw it. Uh, I was I'm pretty sure I'm playing the PS5 version and there was only 32 people in my mass race. Correct. Were you Me getting too. the same? Yeah. And it uh, was 64 in the beta. Mm -hmm. And so I'm wondering if that's because cross plays turned on, but it wasn't the last one too, I think. It's yeah. just, it's weird. I wonder if they're cutting that down from 64, they, if that was too it, much chaos. 
it it's either that would either be my guess or they didn't want their servers to be overrun mm -hmm. the week leading up. You know, maybe they had something else that they were working on or, you know, Lord, they're probably already working on a DLC. Uh, so they were probably trying to reserve some server space just in the event that it did crash. They were trying to prevent. I, I would guess that they were trying to prevent things by just capping it for that week. I think I think it might be a good reason too if you have this as trial week where people can jump in and play the game. You don't mm -hmm. want them getting frustrated in a 64 person mass race with all these collisions sure. and you want those races to be full and populated. So you put it at 32. I'm just I'm curious. They didn't mention anything about that. So I saw that and I was like, did I download the PS4 version on my PS5? Like it looks good. It's running fat. Like did I just mess up? I'm usually figure this stuff out. So interested to see but i still love these mass races i mean just changing sports the music the best part the thing i love most about this game i was talking about father of all was playing by green day heavy guitar and then right in the guitar solo i hit a massive ramp and then the music fades out to like that no. muffled sound and then right as the verse hit is when my back tires hit the ground it's like those moments are what this game was made for and it just that's why i'm like i want to be done with this show so i can go play again yeah. Oh my gosh. You know, and you not only is the the audio editing in this game super immersive, like you said, you pull off a big trick and that audio fades and you hear the wind pick up more than what's in your in your ears. Uh, it's those little things that make you feel like you're a part of the game. But this soundtrack is on another level as well. Not only did we hear Green Day, one of my favorite bands, uh, we also heard Wiz Khalifa Black and Yellow in mm -hmm. there during some of the tutorial sections, uh, along with a bunch of other punk rock alternative sounding bands and performers. Uh, that's going to be a main topic on its own. Um, yeah, no, that was that's an incredible feeling. I know what you're saying. <laughs> Yeah, the soundtrack is great. Uh, the music everywhere. It just it really fits that vibe that they were going for the riders. I love the one Carver Commodore song, too. It's just like a more slow indie rock. You can't even find guitar tabs for it. It's one of those songs that doesn't really exist yeah. out there. But it's just walking around the ridge and hearing that playing in the background on the speakers and you got people riding around and cruising. It's just it's a really good feeling. Yeah. And I think the last, you know, this is already going to be a pretty beefy main topic. Um, but the last thing I want to mention, you know, Coming from a lot of, I, I race a lot of racing video games, primarily racing video games. That third person camera on the bike and on the skis and snowboard was lifted a little mm -hmm. bit from trials week, uh, from beta to the trial week to the full game release. Uh, and that makes a huge difference. It was kind of difficult in the beta to see when you were third person mm -hmm. watching behind your rider. It's a little difficult to see the track in some spots. You know, you're going down a very steep cliff and you can't see a checkpoint. You got to kind of go to the left and risk hitting a canyon just to see what's in front of you. But they lifted that to make it a little easier, a little more uh, visible. I, I, don't know, I really appreciate that. I don't know about you. I might be weird, but when I'm doing those mass races or just any race in general, bikes, first person, bikes are first person, skis and snowboard are third person. Yeah, I can't absolutely except the rocket skis through the. T it's so it depends on the crowd yeah. too. If there's a crowd, it's third person. <laughs> if I'm doing the rocket skis through the tight tree section, I switch to first just for that, so I can really kind of nail those trees. But if there's too many people, pop back out the third person. I. Yeah, and I like using both. It's it's just it's really cool. Yeah, you know, the first person camera, if if you played steep, you understand this first person <laughs> camera is oh, phenomenal. And mm -hmm. I know in these notes, it says the first person camera was more polished. It looked perfectly polished in the beta. I mean, mm -hmm. anything will be better than that shaky GoPro camera you had in steep. Uh, I love that that ability. Even my girlfriend was watching me play the trial. And I was saying, wow, look how well this game looks. Look how well it plays in first person. And she kind of scoffed as a Call of Duty player and was like, yeah, any game is better in first person. <laughs> and walked away like, duh, everybody knows that. But it took, you know, this brand new game for all of us, all of the riders to finally figure that out. And yeah, it is night and day. Yeah, I guess uh, final thoughts. I think it will be game of the year for me out there i think they need a couple more things the director mode the editor mode something for replays mm -hmm. uh maybe a better way to jump back in time too i don't like the backtrack i like the steep system where you could just hold a button go back to yes. the top of your line but man i was just grinding out trying to make some money to get some cool outfits and that's going to be a daily thing because there's daily outfits now so it's yep. it's got me hooked
we we are in the sauce. Uh, that was just a very brief overview of everything that we kind of want to cover in the game in these first couple of episodes here. If there's something you really want us to discuss, debate, uh, you know, take your perspective and, and agree or disagree with it, whatever, let us know down in the comments. Uh, let us know over on our Discord topic suggestion, wherever. Send us your thoughts and ideas. We would love to feature you in a main topic. Thank you very much for sticking through that one. We will see you next week with another well, once the game's released, we have, we're going to have something to talk about, I'm sure. Uh, rambling. Let's hit up the Riders Roundup. <laughs>Welcome to the final segment of the show, Riders Roundup, which we love to start every week off with our favorite photos from our weekly photo challenges. Each week we post, or you know, every few weeks, we'll post a new picture theme and anyone can submit their best photos. This week, the theme was Welcome to the Republic. And obviously, of course, we needed pictures from trial week and you guys came through. Mitch, who are you picking for episode one, week one? I am going to go with a new fan favorite and a new fan plus member, Thunder TRP. He's been coming up with some crazy photos. Again, all of them in his the album that he posted are great. But for Welcome to the Republic, I love the one with him sitting on the bike just kind of looking off into the rider's ridge. The sun's just starting to set, so it's getting down to the end of the day. He might be considering maybe I should do a couple more runs or maybe I should get a snack over at Brett's uh, food truck, then head back out there for some night riding. But it's just a really cool stage photo. It's so low to the ground. You get, look at the detail on that grass. It's beautiful. We never had grass and steep, so now we just get the grass, the trees, the beautiful skylighting, and then of course the bikes. You know what he should be thinking? I need to go to the shop and buy myself a shirt because I'm going to nope. be burnt. I'm going to be crisped <laughs> like a chip. You've by seen the my end outfit. Of today. You don't need a shirt in Riders Republic. You just need some <laughs> shiny pants and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of just incredible photographers and incredible riders in the game, one of our other heavy hitters, Flair, coming in fresh with this screen grab from Trial Week. No more of that work in progress up on the top. No more of that. It looks like he was able to Photoshop out the trial timer on the top of his picture here but just look at this this gorgeous color scheme you have the uh, mint berry <laughs> outfit here by flair the pink on top with the tans and then that bike that gorgeous bike i forget which level you get that at but the purple uh forks in the front and then that hot pink body can't get any better than that and of course utilizing that fog and the ambiance to make this just look like a pure work of art yeah, there's so many settings in that photo mode that you can just you can really get the colors that you want to and the look and flair is has always been a master with his colors and he's just taken it to a new level in this game. Love the contrast with that pink and green popping. So yeah. I think we're going to leave this album up for at least one more week. Welcome to the Republic. So as soon as the game launches, if you finish your trial, snap some photos all around the game. Riders Ridge welcoming people to the game and then you can post them in the album link down below. Yes, of course. Thank you to everyone who has submitted already. We have a few names that we did not get to this week, but don't worry. We have, like Mitch said, another week or two that we're going to leave this open to try and get every, everyone who submitted some love on the channel. Moving on to the world of TikTok. Mitch, do you have a TikTok? I got rid of it because mm -hmm. I didn't want to spend too much time, but I still mm -hmm. get the occasional one sent to me and i think i saw you know aramix talking about this one that it blew up and then i found it on the riders republic twitter page you see this clip yeah yeah please yeah. check it out right now i mean this you can't how can someone pick up a game with under under 10 hours of time to play this game and pull something off like this. Was this luck or is Aramix just on a different level? He's a different level. I mean, we've seen him compete in TFG. I think, you know, with some of his edits, the tricks he's pulling off. And it, even in the top 10, like Steep Steve's videos, he can do some crazy stuff. So I know that he tried specifically to try at the spot and get as many kind of tire taps as he could and still stick the landing and he just pulled it off brilliantly. I'm still in shock. That's why this game's going to go viral is because of clips like this that can just get shared around and viewed all around the world. Yeah, those rotation resets are going to become 
very important in this game and in the trick extreme trick community uh, i think hole in ones are going to take on a whole other element now that you have a front tire to bonk on different things without breaking your skull like you would in steep and kind of just falling down through the canyon um you can also see aramix rocking that pre-order pink bunny outfit be sure to pre-order the game today <laughs> so you can grab that this is your last chance these last 24 hours before the game releases uh, we also have a few other riders in the republic that are posting on youtube already one of which strenio tackling the red bull play streets in the game i love these maps that they have for red bull events the <laughs> play streets is so insane the one that on the bikes that goes through mammoth mountain too crazy mm -hmm. but strenio has always been one of like the steeziest riders that we have just takes things almost a little slow and understated and he you know just really nails this section also two things he has 14 mm -hmm. minutes left in this trial so he just squeaked this out at the very last minute <laughs> and i did hear some people debating he's using the assisted landing mm -hmm. and it looks steezier than when you use the manual landing and I have to agree. I've been playing around with that a bit. The manual landing, of course, you can crank out more tricks, but the assisted landing kind of takes over at the end and smoothens everything out. So if you're trying to get those smooth, steezy clips, watch Strenio, and then you could turn on that assisted landing. Yeah, he was also using abusing those side rails in play streets. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a couple of those throughways there, a couple of cheeky point grabs, building up a multiplier before he's hitting a rail. Um, you know, wonderful introduction just for early riders to see how you can utilize any part of this map to your advantage. Anything that you can grind, try and grind it. Um, Strenio putting up massive points compared to all of the other riders that he was up against on that scorecard at the end there. Well done. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting seeing how assisted landing and manual landing are utilized, especially in our end, in the esports world of, you know, check my stees and all of those contests, will there be certain events where manual mode has to be on or off? You know, if, especially if you're playing a game of slush and you know, you're going to have to determine with your friends, is this a manual or an assisted? Um, it'd make more sense to go manual for a couple of TFG events. Just, Hey, pull off this trick, this insane combo, and you have to land it. It doesn't have to be pretty, but you have to land it yourself. I can see that working itself into a technical aspect of esports competition. Yeah, I think any event that you're trying to get real technical and pull off tricks exactly how you want, you're going to want to do manual. But some of the other stuff, check my stees, like you mentioned, uh, just steep it. Why can't I blank on it? The shred the spot, there you shred go. the spot. Yep. <laughs> Anything that you want, like kind of look clean for video and very steezy, very smooth. You might want to try the assisted and then if you're trying to just land the craziest trick possible obviously just turn on manual mode but it's tricky i still have problems landing corks and bios which it's how it should be that's how it's like in real life it's hard to judge Absolutely. when your skis are going to touch that ground absolutely yeah and the, the customization is going to be terrifying <laughs> to see people no i meant to land off access by this because mm -hmm. of xyz it's it's going to be a lot. I'm really looking forward to all of the community competitions that we host on YouTube, Twitch, Discord, etc. Uh, be sure to verse yourself in all of those wonderful creators like you just mentioned. Shred this spot's very own Just Steep It coming out with his final steep edit titled Goodbye Steep. This was a massive undertaking for him. So huge props, huge shout out. He put in a ton of work and combined the community's clips. He just opened it up for everyone to submit. So it's like 38 minutes of steep clips just showing off everyone who loved the game. It's a brilliant tribute to the game. Whenever we want to go think back on it and don't want to play it, this is what you got to watch because everyone's in there. You got the super crazy tricksters, the people who cruise some nice steezy lines. You got us who can't pull off many tricks, but we're at least creative with them. Yep. And uh, it's just pr one of the best tributes and the reason why Riders Republic needs a video editor because stuff like this can come out. Yeah, absolutely. I The first few seconds of this video were that E3 launch that you and I have talked about at length before uh, watching this together in a movie theater, watching the premiere of Steep. Um, 
it was it was a different level. You know, we kind of ascended to a different level. And finally, a cool game like this is coming out. And look where we are after four or five years with that game in our minds, uh, introducing the brand new predecessor. Uh, yeah, you can scroll to this video uh, 20 minutes and 40 seconds ish to see two of the best riders in the game <laughs> pulling off some awesome tricks like like stunts. I wouldn't even call them tricks. They mm -hmm. were stunts. Uh, we were you know, just rep after rep, but just steep. It made us look like pros and uh, the community agreed. So that is smoke and mirrors. That's what it's all about. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot to mention. Um, thank you to everyone who submitted. You can submit your promos over on our self promo tab on Discord. That's where all of these wonderful creators are dropping all of their content for us to share on a weekly basis. Forgot to mention today. If you're watching this at the premiere, Off Piste Strenio's final steep edit is premiering on. Uh, October 27th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, that is Strenio's final steep edit, just like Just Steep It. We're, we're wrapping it up on all of these creator channels, so feel free to go over. Please give them a like. Please give them a view. I think that's going to do it for episode one. Yeah, that's that's all we have. I can't wait to do at least 100 episodes of this show and maybe many more if it sticks around as long as Steep. We're going to be years and years in the making for this, so... Uh, if you'd like to help support us, you can become a member by hitting the join button down below. They get a lot of cool perks like early access to the show, emojis and badges, a Discord role, members only video per month, sneak peeks, and so much more. And you can also just subscribe to catch all of our great Riders Republic content, including our X Games style competitions, which we'll have starting real soon. Yeah, and those X Games style competitions have also featured uh, famous X Games talent uh uh, why am I blanking on his name? He's Tom the voiceover Wallish, actor. Brando Graham. He, he's, he's the voiceover actor in Riders Republic. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Brando Graham and Tom Wallish, X Games gold medalist skier Tom Wallish. Uh, they have joined us over on the Tartiflette games in season one. Uh, so yeah, be sure to get in on all of that action. You can also check out all of our links down below to our Instagram, Nick and Mitch YT, our Twitter account, which is used every once in a while to uh, reply to Riders Republic and Red Bull about hiring us to do this on a professional stage again. And of course, links to our Discord server where the party continues after every single show. I have said time and time again, it's just like going to the ski lodge with all of your friends without the smell. <laughs> it's, it's a wonderful time over there. Please come and join the conversation. Join the community over on Discord. We'd love to have you. We will see you guys next week. Same place, same time for episode two of the Riders Report. Thank you very much. And here's to another 100 episodes. I'm Nick. And I'm Mitch. And we'll see you in on the slopes. Slopes.